Hey guys, it's Chad with G Reviews, doing a quick review on something new that I just got. But first, I'm going to show you some results of a head-to-head -head between the outgoing and the brand new. Here's the results. All right, here is my benchmark. All right, I got uh, Time Warner cable. Uh, this is Time Warner cable modem, and this is the current router I have. Okay, it's a Belkin. I'm going to show you the specs here in a second. As you can see, it's a multi-use room. My wife does a lot of uh, vinyl and stuff. But uh, here's my here's my computer. <clears throat> All right, this is the current router I have. It is the N750 dual band N router, and as you can see. It's only 69 bucks now, but when I first bought it about four or five years ago, it was quite a bit more than that. Um, it's dual band. It's got 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz radio in it. Uh, obviously, it says up to 750 megabytes a second max. Um, all right. Comparing to what I have coming on the way, which is the ASUS RT AC5300. As you can see, that thing just looks badass. All right, check out the specs on this. Um, obviously, you can see all these specs right here. You can look this up. It's, it does A, B, G, N, A, C. Um, it's got two, it's a tri-band. It's got two 5 gigahertz antennas and one 2.4. As you can see, these speeds right here, pretty crazy. Um, it's got a dual 1.4 gigahertz processor on it. And it says it should be able to go up to a 5,000 square foot house. All right, I'm going to X off of these two. All right, I'm going to do a speed test. I have this computer, okay, my Alienware, hooked directly in um, via Ethernet cable to the modem. So this is going to show you the full speed of what I'm paying for. Uh, with Time Warner, I'm paying for 200 megabytes a second download and 20 megabytes upload. All right, we'll see this here. Let it do its thing. All right, as you can see, I'm paying for 200. I'm getting around 250 download. All right. All right, let it do its thing. All right, saying 239. And as you can see, it's uh, uploading somewhere around 20. Okay, one of the main reasons I'm getting the new router is because I live in a two-story house currently, and I barely, I barely get good reception on any of my cell phone, iPad, anything um, more than you know 25 feet from the router, and it's terrible downstairs. So I'm going to show you the speed. Like I said, this is literally in the same room as my computer, so it's from here the phone is like four feet at the most. We'll see what kind of speed I'm getting here. All right, so yeah, right here next to the router, I'm pretty much getting a max of 66. 67, and upload, pretty much what I'm paying for, right about 20. 22. All right guys, this is downstairs. Uh, this is in my living room. Uh, we're gonna see what the speed is down here. As you can see, it's uh, struggling quite a bit to uh, get any decent speed. As you can see there at uh, the download speed down here, downstairs only 13. I'm still getting normal upload speed. 22. Alright, now I'm doing a test at my dining room table, which is still on the first floor
All right, it looks like 38 download, 16 upload. All right, I uh, got my new router in. It is the ASUS AC5300, and I'm going to be doing a series of uh, tests to give you guys some real world uh, megabytes per second download speed. All right, I'm just doing this guys real quick to show you that I haven't changed my internet speed. Uh, it's the same internet I've had before. I'm just doing another test on the internet speed on my PC. Again, this is hooked in directly via ethernet cable to the modem. Again, I'm paying for 200 megabytes download and 20 megabytes upload. All right, today got 242. And I'm gonna probably cut it close, cut it short on this. It always gets around 20 to 23, somewhere in there. All right, this is my spot one. I tested the exact same spots when I had the old Belkin. Again, the router is literally right underneath that table right there. It's about four feet away. All right, let's test the speed at this short distance in the same room. All right, did you see that? 224.28 megabytes a second. And that again is spot number one. All right, and again, around 20 to 23. All right, this is spot two. Again, right on my couch in my living room. Downstairs, the router is upstairs. Let's see what kind of speed we're getting down here. All right, look at that, 135. And again, upload around the same. All right, again, spot three, dining room table, downstairs. All right, 146.22, and again, upload around the same. All right, obviously you guys already had watched all the results. What I did is I took three different spots and tested the speed kind of where I normally use my devices at. The first spot was right here in the same room, just behind the camera over there. Um, really four feet from the router. The Belkin, upon first test, I got on my iPhone 6S on speedtest.net app. It gave me a download speed of 67.07 megabytes a second download speed. And all these guys, they're all gonna have around the same upload because I pay for 20, I get anywhere between 20 to 23, 24 around there. So all these tests are to give exactly the same. I really don't care about the upload, I'm talking about download at this point. Uh, the Belkin, 67.07 megabytes a second download on spot one. On spot one with the Asus, it gave me 224.28. I mean, that, that right there is amazing, guys. Um, I kind of thought it was going to happen. Uh, as you can see, I mean, this right here, there's like no external antennas on it whatsoever. And this thing has eight. So obviously, it's going to be giving you a lot more speed. Spot two is on my, my living room couch. That's pretty much where most of the use of my phone, I, iPad, all that stuff is actually used. Um, and that is actually downstairs. Okay, on the Belkin. It gave me 13.24. On the Asus, it gave me 135.53. I know that's a quite a bit less than the 224 from upstairs, but guys, I mean, signal going through a house, it hits a lot on the way to your device. It hits walls, and again, this one, I, I'm in a two-story house, so it has to go through walls and downstairs. Um, all right, spot three, the dining room. Uh, I do use that at the dining room table quite a bit. Maybe not necessarily when I'm eating, but just when I'm sitting there talking to people. Um, the Belkin, it gave me 38.37. All right. And the Asus here gave me 146.22. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but the numbers on the Belkin were okay, but that was with every other device in the house turned off that uses Wi-Fi. Um, if my wife is on something or we're watching Netflix on a TV somewhere that runs off the Wi-Fi, those numbers on the Belkin will literally go down to like two, okay? On the Asus, uh, the very first day I got it in, a couple days ago, I literally, every single device, I, I started to run YouTube on 1080 and 4K, ran all the TVs on Netflix, uh, watching movies, um, and there was no difference in speed on the Asus. So it kept up with the demand. This thing right here fell, fell off the bandwagon. All right, guys, this is the box it comes in. That's real quick. I'm going to open it up, show you guys what came with it. Yeah, there we go. It is a nice box. Obviously, as you can see, that's what the inside looks like. The antennas all came in a separate little compartment over here. Um, they were wrapped in plastic, so they were protected. And as you guys can see, this thing is monster. It is big, um, and it looks awesome. Um, I'm sure some guys are going to probably somehow open the top and put some LEDs in there so LEDs shine through that grill and out the sides. Um, I'm going to leave it stock. I don't want to really mess with it. Um, but there's the difference. And I give this one, guys, two thumbs up.